Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Do Yoga with Gail. I am Gail, your yoga instructor. Time to do some yoga. Unroll your mat, grab some props if you want to use them throughout your practice today. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna to start today on hands and knees in Anahatasana, a nice heart opening stretch as its name suggests. All right, Anahata is the heart chakra, our fourth chakra. Walk the hands out, keep your hips lined up over the knees. Please remember to modify any part of your practice today as it makes sense. You can keep your elbows lowered, forehead down on the mat, letting your heart center melt toward the mat. And of course, if your anahatasana starts to feel a little too intense, you can dial it back into a child's pose. If you're on the other end of the spectrum and you want to make this a deeper stretch, being careful to, you know, just watch out what's happening with your neck, you can bring your chin toward the mat if that feels good. Start to fire up the breath. Lengthening inhales. Lengthening exhales. Let's take two or three more deep breaths right here. Really letting the heart open up toward the mat. out slow, walking the hands back, slide the hands in, lift your head up, come onto hands and knees, come forward, lower onto your bellies, extending both arms out to the sides like airplane wings, roll onto the right arm, with your head on the mat, you're going to be looking toward the left, step your left foot behind you on the floor and hold for a breath. Let's come back through center, go the other way. Left arm out, roll to the left side. Step the right foot back and hold one breath. Come back to center, go to the right. Come to center, go left. to center, go to the right, one more time, come to center and go to the left, one last time. Let's meet back in the middle, slide the hands into opposite sides of the chest, return to hands and knees. From a neutral spine, we'll thread the needle, inhaling, lift the right arm. Exhale, thread under the left, bringing your right shoulder all the way down, looking left, and you can either slide your left hand through the front edge of the mat, or if you wanna deepen the stretch through the back of the right shoulder, take your left hand on top of the right, interlace fingers, so you can gently stretch your bottom arm a little more to the left. 
One more deep breath. I don't know about you, but that feels good. Let's release out, come on to hands and knees. We'll go the other way, lifting up the left arm. Inhale, exhale, thread under the right. Again, you can either keep the right arm reaching through the front edge of the mat, or you can take the right hand on top of the left, interlace fingers, so you can gently stretch your bottom arm a little more to the right. Coming back as you release onto your hands and knees, sliding the right leg back with the toes tucked on the mat, gently waking up the right leg, hold for a breath. Keeping your hips level, lift the right leg, extend the left arm out, draw the belly in just to keep the low back nice and, and secure, either hold here or bend the right knee. Reach the left hand back, grab your right foot, flex your right foot so your heel presses up to the sky as you open the left shoulder, another heart opening stretch and kicking the right leg up and back. One more breath. Let's release with the left arm forward, right leg back. Lower your left hand, lower your right foot, then slide your right foot out to the right side. I'm gonna do this facing you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing my right side, you do your right side. So the right leg out, the toes down, the heel down. Drag the fingertips in slowly toward the left leg. Roll up, nice and easy. Your head comes up last. Slide your right arm down the right leg. Lift your left arm over. Coming into gate pose. Tailbone lengthens down. Relax the right shoulder one more. Deep breath. Returning both hands to the mat. Sit back on your sit bones. So bring your left foot in a little bit. Sit back, the right leg continues reaching out. Your left foot against the inner right thigh, almost like you're doing Janu Shirshasana. Take both hands to opposite sides of your left leg, lift into sail pose. Come up, right leg out, right arm over, one breath. Then come back down, reach both hands towards your right foot. Use a strap or belt if you need, taking another deep breath. Release as you walk the hands in. Reach both hands forward and slide the right leg out to the right side. Lift the right leg back behind you. Bending at your elbows, bring the heart center forward, coming into a modified push-up, right? Just dropping your chin toward the mat or the floor, then come back up. Bring your right knee outside the left leg and hold for a deep breath. Returning your right foot to the right side, go the other way. Left leg back, toes tucked. Waking up the left leg for a breath. Keep your hips level, float the left leg high, right arm forward. You can keep it here or do the back bending add-on. Bending the left knee, reach the right hand back, grab your foot, flex your left foot so your left heel presses up to the sky. Soft gaze past the nose, one more breath. Releasing out, right arm forward, left leg back. Lower the right hand, lower the left foot, and reach your left leg all the way out to the left side. Again, I'm gonna do this facing you. This is my left leg, you do your left leg. Toes down, heel down. Slide the fingertips in slowly toward the right leg. Roll up nice and easy. Chest up, shoulders back. Left arm down the left leg, right arm sweep it over in a gate pose. Tailbone down, lift out of the waist. One more breath. A 
lowering both hands back down. Slide your right heel in slightly, sit back, modified Janu Shurshasana, because we're not coming into Janu Shurshasana, so pre-Janu Shurshasana. Hands to opposite sides of your right leg, lifting into sail pose. Hips up, left arm over, tailbone down. One more breath. And bring it back down. Now, Janu Shurshasana, both hands reaching for the left foot. Use a strap or belt if you need. Another deep breath. Walk the hands in, lifting up. Bring the hands forward, come off your sit bones, the left leg out, then the left leg back behind you, bending at your elbows. Bring the heart center forward, chest forward, shoulders back, push up and come back up. Send the left knee outside the right leg for one more breath. Come back up, return the left knee to the left side. We're on hands and knees, spread the fingers wide, down dog, lift the hips up and back. Feel free to walk out your feet, stretch out the legs. And put a soft bend in the knees. Walk your hands halfway back to your feet so you're in a short down dog. We'll do down dog with a twist. You can keep you know, the knees soft. Reach your right hand outside the left leg, somewhere between the knee and the ankle, sliding the hand down if there's room to do so. With a little bend in the right elbow, open the heart through the left side. And take one more deep breath. And we'll release the right arm. Go the other way, left hand outside the right leg between the knee and the ankle, sliding the hand down if there's room to comfortably do so. Soft bend in the left elbow, shining your heart through the right side. One more breath. And returning the left hand down. Walk your hands out, put a little bend in the knees, look forward and walk or hop your feet to the front of the mat. Folding over the legs, relax the head down. Slowly roll up to stand. Soften the shoulders back, standing tall in Tadasana. Inhaling, sweep the arms over. Grab your right wrist with your left hand as you stretch over to your left side. Step the right foot behind you, then to your left as you cross over. As you come to center, step the right foot back, grab the left wrist, stretch to your right, step your left foot behind you, then cross it over behind you, one breath. We'll come back to center, dive over the legs, soften the knees if you need, lift the chest, inhale, stepping your left leg back, low lunge. Take a twist here as you reach the right arm high, lift up, modifying as you need, of course, take another deep breath in. Exhaling, lower the right hand, let's go right into warrior one, turn the back heel down, keep the front knee bending deep, sweep the arms through, and overhead, nice deep bend in the right knee. Tailbone lengthens down the back leg. Interlace fingers overhead, press the palms high. One more breath. Humble warrior, arms behind you, interlace fingers again, lift the chest, open the heart. Come forward, round it down, relax the head down, one breath. And pressing through the legs as you lift the chest up about halfway. Come into half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Release the right hand out front. Feel free to put a block under the right hand. Float the left leg up. Float the left arm high. As you press down, you're also lifting up away from the ground. Opening to the left, maybe peek up at your fingertips. One more breath. 
let's transition through standing split into low lunge. Lower the left hand, soften your forehead to the front shin, then your left foot steps back on the mat. Both hands inside your right foot, travel to the left, coming into a wide-legged forward fold, Prasarita Padatanasana. Your feet are about parallel to each other, folding over the legs, and you can either keep hands down or hands on the lower legs. Maybe even grabbing big toes if you like. Let's soften the shoulders back, take another full breath. And pressing down, lift the head, the chest, hands on the mat, low lunge, pivot the toes and walk your hands around. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, take it forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga or drop the knees. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing dog. And bringing it back to down dog or take child's pose. Let's give it a couple deep breaths. One more breath. And from your down dog, soft knees look forward. Walk or hop your feet lightly to the front. Chest up on the inhale. Exhale, round it down. One more time, roll up slowly to stand. Press through the legs, come up. Open the shoulders, inhale, sweep the arms around, grab the right wrist, stretch over left, step the right foot behind you as you stretch, come back to center, grab the left wrist, stretch over to the right, stepping your left foot behind you, come back to the center, dive over the legs, softening knees if you need, chest up on the inhale. Right leg back, low lunge, taking a twist, lifting the left arm, reach high, modifying if you need with the back knee on the mat. One more, inhale. Exhaling, lower the left hand, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, the right heel pivots down, float the arms straight up, reach up as the legs press down, lift out of the waist, change the grip, interlace fingers, palms press high. Open the heart, relaxing the shoulders. Let's humble warrior, arms back, change the grip again, interlace fingers, open the heart, lean in, lengthen, then round, head down, arms over one breath. As you press through the legs, we're lifting the chest about halfway. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. It's the left hand reaching out. Feel free to put a block under the left hand. Right leg lifts up. Right arm floats high. Half moon. You're pressing down to lift up away from the mat. Getting grounded first and then shifting your gaze and maybe looking up. One more breath. Let's transition through standing split to low lunge. Lower the right hand, forehead to the front shin, touch the left uh, right foot back. Both hands inside your left foot. Travel to the right as you come into Prasarita Padatanasana, your wide-legged fold. Feet are just about parallel to each other. If the knees need to bend, let them bend. If you want to put blocks into the hands here, you can. And either hands down or hands to the legs, any variation that suits you. If you want to go for another shoulder opening stretch, you can reach the arms behind you, interlace fingers, stretching the arms overhead. Taking another deep breath or so. Let's all meet with our hands on the mat, chest up. Come into low lunge, face the front of the mat. Pivot the toes, walk your hands around. Let's bring it back to downward facing dog, step back. 
hold or flow. Good, from your down dog, we're lifting the right leg, opening the hip, bending at the knee, relax the head down. You can keep it here if you choose. If you wanna do a artichoke cross and a half wheel flip, step the right foot back. If you wanna do something similar but less dramatic, or it's almost like a modified side plank, it's a mini flip, step the right foot behind you, pivot the outer left foot to the mat, and sweeping the right arm up. Still opening the whole front side of the body. One more deep breath in. Exhaling, let's meet in down dog split. Let's take it to pigeon pose, bring the right knee through. The left leg back, sit tall and modifying on your back if you need, doing the reverse figure four. Sit tall, lengthen the spine. Feel free to walk the hands out using uh, props if you need under the hip to keep the hips level. Let's take another two or three deep breaths. the hands in, lift the head, the chest up. Roll to the outer right leg, Baddha Konasana. As the left leg sweeps around, bring the soles of the feet together, dropping the knees out, hands to the feet, sit tall. Feel free to keep it here if this is, if this is deep enough. This is deep for a lot of us. I know I feel it here. Uh, or if there's room to do so, you can lean in. Let's take another deep breath or two. out as you come all the way upright fold the knees in drop the hands behind you and windshield wiper the knees side to side let's come to center extend your left leg out on the mat bend the right knee Artemisi Andrasana step the right foot over twist to your right side feel free to keep the left leg straight or you can Bend the knee, make sure your sit bones stay down. Another deep breath or two. Bring it to center, little counter stretch, go left. Come back to the middle. As you unwrap your legs, return to hands and knees. We'll meet in downward facing dog, press back. Feel free to hold, feel free to flow through. switch the sides lifting up the left leg bend the knee open the hip head down and either holding here in your down dog split if you want to take the half wheel right the big back bend the left foot steps back Ardha Chakrasana if you're doing the mini flip still your left foot steps back roll, uh, roll to the outer edge of the right foot and pivot so the whole body whole front body opens to the sky left arm over one more breath and meeting in down dog split with the left leg high let's take it to pigeon pose bring the left knee through sit tall level the hips use props if you need modifying on the back if you need for the reverse figure four let's sit tall find length and come forward hands out using a blanket or anything under the left hip or thigh if you need or even putting a block under the forehead if that feels good let's give ourselves another deep breath and releasing slide the hands back lift the head the chest up we're rolling to the outer left hip sweep the right leg around baddha konasana soles of the feet together sit tall hands to your feet 
either remaining here or leaning in. And taking another breath or so. out, returning upright, fold the knees in, drop the hands back, windshield wiper the knees, releasing the hips, releasing the low back. We'll release a little more, Ardha Matsya and Drasana, come to center, it's your right leg straight, the left knee bending, step the left foot over, twisting to your left, and of course feel free to keep the right leg straight or send the foot back, making sure sit bones are on the mat. Lengthen, twist, breathe. One more time. And bringing it back to center, we'll counter stretch to the right. Returning to the middle unwrapping the legs this time we'll lower onto the back grabbing any props if you want to use them for bridge pose I was looking for my blocks there okay <laughs> roll back and keeping your feet on the mat keeping your knees pointing forward so avoid the urge to let your knees drop out all 10 toes point forward and your heels line up under your knees. So if your arms are alongside the body, your fingertips should be close to your, your heels. Okay, so you're gonna use a block if you wanna have a little support here under the low back. You can even put the block on the, on the middle height if you wanna do that. If you'd rather take the active bridge pose variation, you're skipping the block, you're just lifting the hips letting the arms relax alongside the body, or you can interlace fingers behind the back. If you're feeling warmed up enough to do Urdhva Dhanurasana wheel pose, feel free to take the deeper variation. We're gonna hold here for a couple more deep breaths. Let's all lower down, hug the knees in toward the chest, rock a little side to side if that feels good, or taking a happy baby pose. then let your feet lower down and as we continue winding down this is a good opportunity to take an inversion if you want to do a shoulder stand or a headstand if you want to support your shoulder stand you can lift the hips up take another block or a bolster or rolled up blanket behind the lower back lifting legs up to the sky all right, or you can go legs up the wall. That's a nicely restorative variation. Move mindfully. Take your time. If you're in headstand, uh, shoulder stand, you're only looking up at your feet. Okay, do not, do not, do not turn your head here. And giving yourself another deep breath or two. Lower out nice and easy. Taking your counter stretch. I'm going to grab a block for my fish pose counter stretch. If you did headstand, you're gonna be in child's pose. Let's take another three to five deep breaths.
pressing out, returning onto your back, taking any final stretch or twist or anything that helps you to work out your final kinks, anything that helps you to find stillness when you're about ready to settle into Shavasana. Settling back on your mat, coming into your final relaxation today, feel free to grab a sweater or a blanket if you'd like to avoid getting cold in your relaxation. Extending out the legs, separating the feet, let your arms relax out to the sides. Remember your Shavasana has a fixed alignment to it, just like every other asana in your practice. Palms face up to the sky in an open gesture of receiving. Your eyes are closed. Relaxing back, just letting yourself let go of all the cares, all the heaviness. Let yourself feel light. Let yourself feel soft. Enjoying these few moments to restore before returning to your day. Feel free to remain in your Shavasana if you have the time. Otherwise, I will leave you here. Thank you again for stepping on the mat and practicing with me. Namaste. I will see you next time.